Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking at the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x squared minus 9, and we're asked for what values of x is that function differentiable. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this into a piecewise function to see if we can get a function that is something that we can find the derivative of more easily. Okay, so think you know what the absolute value actually means, right? If the thing inside the absolute value is greater than or equal to zero, then its value doesn't change, right? Taking the absolute value of four, it's just gonna be four. So x squared minus nine is gonna be the value of the function if x squared minus nine is greater than or equal to zero. It's going to be negative x squared minus nine. It's gonna be the negative value of itself if the thing inside the absolute value is less than zero. And simplifying this here, we get f of x equals x squared minus nine, if here, when is x squared minus nine greater than or equal to zero? If this is greater than or equal to nine, so if x is greater than three, that's the case, and x is less than negative three, that's the case. And then it's equal to negative x squared plus nine, distributing that negative, if it's not in this range, which means negative three to three. Right? Finding a formula for the derivative is just finding the derivative of each of the pieces of the piecewise function, and it's going to have the same domain. Make sure those are equals to, because it's when the thing inside the absolute value is greater than or equal to. Okay, so finding the derivative of this, first of all, we have a power function right here with x squared, so you bring down the exponent to your coefficient. Then your new exponent is the old one, minus one, so x to the two minus one is x to the first power, is just x, minus the derivative of nine is just zero, so it'd be minus zero, so we can just ignore it. And that's if x is less than, or x is greater than or equal to three, or x is less than or equal to negative three. Finding the derivative of this one, we have negative, and then the, just x squared, we already found the derivative of x squared is two x, so that's negative two x. And this is going to be if negative 3 is less than or less than x is less than 3. So looking for what values is the function differentiable, so what values does the derivative exist? And traditionally, you would do this by taking the definition of a derivative, or if you remember that, it's the limit, the derivative of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And you take that as you're approaching from the left. Say for negative 3, when you're approaching from the left, you'd be using this function and plugging that in. Or plugging this in, sorry, you want to plug in the original function, because we were doing this before we knew how to find the equation of the derivative. And you plug it in and you get a value, and then you try it from the left, or you try it from the right. You try it from the left and the right, and if they equaled each other, that's you knew it was differentiable. But since we know the equations for the derivatives now, we can say, okay, so for negative 3, our derivative approaching from the right is going to be when x is less than negative 3, which is going to be here, which is this. So f prime of negative 3 is 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then from the right, when x is greater than negative 3, it's going to be negative 2x. So negative 2 times negative 3, and this is positive 6. We notice here, it's not the same from the left and the right. So therefore, the function is not differentiable at negative 3. Trying it for 3 from the left. When x is less than 3, we try negative 2x, so negative 2 times positive 3 this time, which is negative 6. From the right, when x is greater than 3, which is this, we do 2 times positive 3 is 6. These are not equal. Therefore, it's not differentiable at 3 or at negative 3. So, for what values is it differentiable? Well, everything other than that. So negative infinity to negative three, three, sorry, negative three to three, and three to infinity. So that's the integral form of basically saying it's not differentiable at negative three and it's not differentiable at three. Lastly, they want us to, sorry, you can't see that interval fully. Um, lastly, they want us to find the graphs of f. So the graph of x squared minus nine without the absolute value is the parabola x squared shifted down nine units, right? 
So then everything that's under the x-axis that's negative, we just bring to the top. And then this is going to be our function. And you can see, if you use the graphical understanding of a derivative, you can see that we have a vertical tangent line at these points, which is why it's not differentiable. And graphing the derivative, we have 2x and negative 2x. We can just draw those lines and dotted before we worry about domains. And then it's going to be from x is greater than or equal to 3, right down here. So let's say this is 3. It's going to be 2x. And when it's less than negative 3, it's going to be 2x. And then everything in between, it's going to be negative 2x. And this is a probably a clear understanding of why the derivative doesn't exist at 3 and negative 3, because it's approaching different values. right? It's approaching here and here and then here and here. But anyways, hope that was clear. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.